Me. We all like learning. So, we all know Soundwave. And we all know Blaster. Now, one of the things I get asked quite a lot is why is Blaster so much bigger than Soundwave? And you have to go back to the history of the toys. Now, all early Transformers came from existing toy lines. These, both these guys came from Microchange, which was robots that turned into household items. So why was Blaster so much bigger than Soundwave? So if we look at a Microchange Blaster, we get the answer to the question. Now, Blaster is just one big hunk of plastic. This one is not. This has some hidden features. So on the back, there's a compartment with a taping that says radio. And if we open him up, there's a jack there and a connector in there. Now my one is a little bit screwy about working. No comment about that's awesome, that is. Did you know that's what it did? I know, I know oh, that I the, did, I've yeah. seen that before, but I didn't know it did that. No. Yeah, and actually, and these buttons switch the radio on and off. Just uh, mine's uh. loose. Mine's loose, so you can hear that's not clicking yeah, properly. Yeah. And that turns it off, and that's why he's so big. So, what year was the original Microman version? This one, I think, is 1982. Uh, it says 84 on the copyright. So, yeah. I think it was around 82. I thought it was a little bit earlier than that. That's cool, man. So you imagine the guy that went out there all those years ago to, to see all these toys and went, these are amazing. Yeah. And then Hasbro obviously yeah. went back to Hasbro with it and mm. put it to him. But Hasbro were cost cutting even then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Already, you know, sort of going, how can we make it cheaper to make? And it was get rid of that feature.